Hi everyone, welcome to Desi Girl 101. This is Ramya and today my husband is going to show us how to make uh, vegetable puffs, veg puffs or egg puffs at home. Um, we have a table with all the ingredients right now. We have all the vegetables. This is some potatoes boiled and squashed and ready to use. This bowl has some tomatoes and some cilantro, some onions and uh, a pack of mixed vegetables and we also have some ginger garlic paste. And the most important thing is we have these puff pastry sheets. Each box comes with two sheets and each of the sheet comes in three sections like this. And you can divide across and use one sheet to make six puffs I think. And you can size them accordingly. You can make bigger or smaller puff sizes. That's up to you. And we are using this tray as well. And the eggs are getting boiled and we'll uh, show you the process step by step heating your oven to 350 Fahrenheit and uh, what is next Chef Raj? I'm gonna make the masala for stuffing. Alright for the masala just add some oil, some cumin seeds, mustard seeds and that's about it. We're gonna add Some onions and uh, curry leaves are optional, I think. Yeah, this so is basically the masala for the vegetable puff, veggie puff. Oh, like you're gonna mix both veggie and egg puff together also. Okay, okay Chef Rajneesh. <laughs> uh, turmeric? Turmeric for the color. This thing has to be not overcooked, but Little undercooked because anyhow we will be baking in the oven. So just a little bit undercooked. So okay. Okay. While that is getting ready, let me show you the pictures on my fridge. Uh, that's from our recent trip to India. That's the Taj Mahal. That's my niece and my mom. Oh, I think we are ready. Okay. So now I think he's adding. Tomatoes and cilantro as well? Yes. Okay. Smells good. And he's also adding some mixed vegetables. Yeah, some mixed vegetables. Okay. It has corn, carrots, peas and uh, green beans. It has been continuously raining since like the last three weekends. That's my bike right there in our patio. Okay, he's adding just about a little bit of ginger garlic paste. You can We're gonna add some spices, like salt. More spices? Oh, okay, salt. Salt, red chili powder. Okay, some salt to your liking and some just Are you adding any garam masala? I see yes. something towards the back. Add some coriander powder and also garam masala powder for the taste. Okay. I don't know if he's audible but that's coriander powder and some garam masala. Whatever garam masala you have at home. And a little bit of oil. And mix, mix, mix. Sorry about that, I thought it was recording. Uh, so he just added the uh, potatoes. We already boiled and mashed the potatoes in this container. Feel free to add anything else uh, to this mixture. Uh, so basically since the uh, pastry sheets were in the freezer, we left it uh, outside for about 30-40 minutes so that it gets defrosted. And you basically also have to use a rolling pin to roll this a little bit so it's not too thick. Some, um, Atta? Yes. So what do you any, call atta? Any multi-purpose flour. Multi flour. Yeah. Uh, so you're anyways going to uh, stuff it and fold the sheet so don't worry too much about the uh, sheet going out of shape. So and we're going uh, to cut into equal whatever three sizes I want to make. How many ever? So you're making three pieces out of one sheet, I assume? Yes. Okay. Okay, so, so we're going to make like nine. 
So yeah, as I mentioned, three sheets. Each sheet is three pieces. And he's going to place them all in this uh, aluminum foil container. So now uh, we are finally preparing the egg puffs as well. They are boiled eggs that have been cut into half. And he's lightly sauteing them in oil. Okay, now we are stuffing the vegetable puffs. Just place the sauteed vegetables into the onto the sheet. So you've rolled it. And then we just close it. Fold the corners. Okay. Try to seal it so it's, it's better. Try to what? Seal it. Oh, try to seal it. Okay. okay. So basically, you're closing, uh, you're rolling it into one side and then sealing it completely towards all corners. Okay. Okay, guys. So that's how it looks like. Egg now puff. you have the um, egg puff. As you see, it's not like completely cooked, but just like a little cooked. And then this one, you put it in a diagonal way. Don't you want to add the vegetables to the egg puff also? I'll put one, like a couple of varieties. So one I'll just put the egg only. Okay. The other ones I'll make sure I put some gravy. Okay guys, we are going to do the egg puff uh, sheet folding again. I don't know if the angle worked better the last time. So that's how the egg is placed. And then you don't want to roll it like the um, vegetable puff. So he's just placing some of the sauteed vegetables just for um, a different taste. You can just do the egg puff, uh, just the eggs without the vegetables for the egg puff. And now he's going to fold it diagonally. You basically want to seal it. Is it ready? Yes. Okay. And you will check back after 25 minutes? Yep. Okay. Bye bye pups. So it's been about like 25 minutes. Um, could take another 8-9 minutes. We can smell the um, puff taste. But for now that's how they look like. It's going to be more cooked. Alright guys, I think it's been over 45 minutes. Uh, we estimated the uh, timing to be around like 25. Now if you can see, um, we can smell the uh, we can smell it but here if you see it's, it's all like a really nice golden brown. So Raj, do you think it's ready? Yes, it's ready. I'm just going to switch it off and okay. let it cool. Alright, so make sure you turn your oven off and let it cool for maybe like 5 minutes. And then it should be ready. We have our plates ready with the ketchup. And uh, we will let you know how it tastes. Okay, the puffs are tired and they are ready to eat. Um, you can make your own chutney. Maybe we are using this uh, ketchup from Maggi tomato sauce. Chef, do you want to take the first bite? I think I'm going <laughs> to... I'll take after some time. Okay. Alright everyone, the puffs are ready and uh, here you go, they are very nicely done and uh, pay a little caution to the uh, hot vegetables, the egg and the vegetables might be hot so we are just using a regular Maggi ketchup and they are ready to eat so give this video a thumbs up and comment and let us know if you have tried this and I would recommend you to use the hashtag DesiGal1010 or hashtag HubbyChef if you are uh, sharing on Instagram or Snapchat. So stay tuned. Love you guys. Bye.